Chapter 20 And Abraham journeyed from there toward the land of the south, and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur, and he sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham said unto Sarah, his wife, She is my sister, and Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream of the night, and said to him, Behold, you shall die because of the woman whom you have taken, for she is a man's wife. Now Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, wilt you slay even a righteous nation? Said he not himself unto me, She is my sister? And she, even she herself, said, He is my brother. In the simplicity of my heart and in the innocency of my hands have I done this. And God said unto him in the dream, Yea, I know that in the simplicity of your heart you have done this, and I also withheld you from sinning against me. Therefore suffered I you not to touch her. Now therefore restore the man's wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for you, and you shall live. And if you restore her not, know you that you shall surely die, you and all that are yours. And Abimelech rose early in the morning, and called on his servants, and told, them, told all these things in their ears. And the men were sore afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham, and said unto him, What have you done unto us, and wherein have I sinned against you, that you have brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? You have done deeds unto me that ought not be done. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What sawest you that you have done this thing? And Abraham said, Because I thought surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And moreover, she is indeed my sister, the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. And so she became my wife. And it came to pass, when God caused me to wander from my father's house, that I said unto her, Thus is your kindness which you shall show unto me, at every place whither we shall come, say of me, He is my brother. And Abimelech took sheep and oxen and men servants and women servants, and gave them unto Abraham, and restored him Sarah his wife. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before you, dwell where it pleases you. And unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, it is for you a covering of the eyes to all that are with you, and before all men you are righted. And Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maidservants, and they bore children. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. All right, let's go back up to verse 1. Now, we, uh, in the last chapter, we had the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, a well-known story, one that's been told many times. Now, this place of destruction, this place that was buried, we'll find out, it was used as a witness, a place that was destroyed long ago. Where God constantly... Uh, trying to show man through example after example from old to even today that destruction comes on a wicked nation destruction comes on those that choose to continue in wickedness and finally it leads to utter destruction we're going to pick it up here we're going to uh today though we have a story of this time when abraham was journeying uh this is According to the the writings, it was written after his name was changed, but probably somewhat a little bit before uh, it was written in. Uh, we got a story similar to that time. Uh, I believe it was chapter 12. Um, of course, that always a little bit of understanding there. And it's a similar to that when he went into Egypt. We're going to pick it up here, verse 1, though. And Abraham journeyed from there toward the land of the south and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur, and he sojourned in Gerar. Uh, now we are not going to try to reorganize the book, but we're going to find that this was during a period of time where he would journey from the, toward the land of the south from where he was at at that current time. He was, uh, I believe, according to about a 
couple chapters ago, he was at the Terebinth of Mamre, which would be located uh, most likely in Judah. And he's going to journey south, and uh, Kadesh and, uh, and Shunner would be uh, in that direction, um, more like um, from where he was at. And he sojourned in Gorar. Kadesh, south is that place of parching. It's a dry place, arid place, a place we can witness even the judgments uh, from before. South is a witness to me. Uh, between Kadesh and Shur, Kadesh is that sanctuary. It means sanctuary. That it's sanctified, it was set aside. And Shur, Shur is the wall. Or the wall it means wall, that place that's walled up. So between the sanctuary and the wall, he sojourned in Gerar. Gerar uh, means to chew it over. That's the place to think it over uh, between the sanctuary and the wall. Uh, the place to think it over or rechew the cud, uh, even in a sense that it was brought back up to be chewed over again, too. And Abraham said of Sarah his wife, She is my sister. And Abimelech king of Gerar sent and took Sarah. And he was living in Gerar, uh, sojourning there, same thing, to work there, live there. And Abraham, the father of many nations, said to Sarah, uh, this princess among princesses, his wife, that's the reflection of his understanding, She is my sister. Uh, to be a sister is one to have like understanding. To, it's just like a brother, one who's born. Uh, we, it's the automatic thought is to have the same parent, uh, parents as being a plural there, but we'll find out that's what Abimelech thought as well. And Abimelech was the king of Gerar. Sent and he took Sarah. And Abimelech, because this was a... a thing to do in that time, I guess, for it was all for all the great men to take uh, any of the daughters, as many as they want, and try to uh, spread their seed into that beauty. Uh, Abimelech is the father of the king. He is the king of Gerar. King of, uh, of course, Gerar is that place that uh, rechews the cud, so he's going to head up that place, and he took Sarah. That's Abraham's wife. Three. But God came to Abimelech in a dream of the night and said to him, Behold, you shall die because of the woman whom you have taken, for she is a man's wife. But God, Elohim, he's the powers, the mights, the, all the forces of the be, came to Abimelech, that's the father of the king, in a dream of the night and said to him, Behold, you shall die because of the woman. This woman is going to be that from man whom you have taken. For she, this woman, that from man, is a man's wife. She belongs to somebody. He's taken her to himself, and that is a reflection of his understanding. For now Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, would you slay even a righteous nation? And Abimelech, the father of the king, had not come near her. He hadn't touched her yet. Uh, fortunately for him, we'll find out. Uh, will you slave a righteous nation? Uh, and he's throwing himself at the mercy of the Lord. Five. Said he not himself unto me, she is my sister. And she, even she herself said, he is my brother. In the simplicity of my heart and the innocency of my hands have I done that. So she, she said he not himself. He, Abraham had said she is my sister. She is uh, one who is like unto me. Uh, um, in an insinuation, they had the same parents. And she even herself said the same thing. He is my brother or one of the same understanding. But we'll find out. It was in the simplicity and the innocency of my hands have I done this, uh, that of my work. It was not an intention. Six, and God said unto him in the dream, Yes, I know that in the simplicity of your heart you have done this, and I also withheld you from the sinning against me. Therefore suffered I not you to touch her. And the Lord said, All oh, the powers and the might in a dream. And a dream is a not a state of conscious, but a state of subconscious. Uh, we find sometimes when the mind's chewing it over, or going over that, bringing back up that which has gone by sometimes, and rechew 
or uh, rethink about what's been going on. God says, I know the simplicity of your heart that you have done this. You didn't know uh, what you was doing when you went in to another man's understanding to take her to yourself. And I withheld you from sinning against me. Uh, therefore, I suffered you not to touch her. You wasn't able to come near her in the fact that your understanding uh, was, obs was obscured. Seven, now, therefore, restore the man's wife. For he is a prophet. And he shall pray for you. And you shall live. And if you restore her not. Know you that you shall surely die. You and all that are yours. Now therefore restore the man's wife. Restore what belongs to him. Uh, that was his understanding. He had taken to himself. That reflection. Of his understanding. He's a prophet. He's a prophet. A prophet uh, was a speaker. I believe this is the first time we have Abraham referred to as a prophet, but he was um, one who speaks uh, righteousness and, and truth is basically what a prophet is. Uh, some people interpret prophets as one who speaks for the Lord. We'll find out the Lord speaks for himself. And he shall pray for you. Uh, to pray is to... The word is pala, and it means to judge, uh, or by some form of extension, uh, recognize uh, your judgment and entreat you somehow, or to to lessen that. And he shall and and uh, pray because of the, to see the affliction and try to give you a way out. You could look at it like, kind of like that. You. And you shall live, or you shall have a way of life. And if you restore her not, know you, you shall surely die. Um, you and all the yours. So you give man, the man back uh, that reflection of his understanding. And because you're not allowed to go into it. Eight. And Abimelech rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told all these things in their ears. And the men were sore afraid. And Abimelech. That's the father of the king. Uh, rose early in the morning. And to rise up early in the morning before, uh, is to come to that understanding early. Uh, we, and called his servants, those that were under him, and told of these things in their ears where they could hear it. And the men were so afraid. Fear entered them because of... Uh, what, where the king had almost been brought to, and uh, he had almost been brought to total destruction. Nine. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said unto him, What have you done unto us? And wherein have I sinned against you, that you have brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin, that you have done deeds unto me that ought not be done? And Abimelech, the father of the king, called Abraham, that father of many nations, and said unto him, What have you done? Unto us, what what's this that you've done, in this uh, some form of trick, wherein I have I have I wherein have I sinned against you? What did I do to sin against you that brought this upon me um, and my kingdom? This great sin, whereby that we should have uh, believed or uh, been in the wrong understanding by presumption, I should say by not thinking it through in the first place. You have done deeds unto me that ought not be done. And maybe Abraham had done deeds unto him to him that shouldn't be done, but we'll find out. Abba Malek's mind was in the wrong place even in the beginning. Um, it was a law from the beginning that the uh, these kings shouldn't take them to themselves many wives, um, especially ones that belong to other men. Ten, and Abba Malek, said unto Abraham, What sawest you that you have done this thing? So Abimelech, the father of the king, wants to know, What did you see? What Did you see something around the kingdom or something that caused you to do this? Uh, what was your purpose? Eleven. And Abraham said, Because I thought surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And Abraham, and Abraham, this one who's going to be the father of many nations, 
says, because I thought surely the fear of God is not in this place. I didn't think nobody here had any fear of uh, the mighty one, uh, the powers that be this, in this place, and that they should slay me for my wife's sake, that they would slay me uh, for uh, wife's sake, his wife is that one he's taken to himself, even that reflection of his understanding, which is Sarah. But to slay him, because if uh, and there would be the king wouldn't be able to um, take another man's wife uh, without slaying uh, her husband or this one who would tender it from the beginning. Twelve. Moreover, she is indeed my sister, the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and so she became my wife. And moreover, she is indeed my sister. And we're we'll, we'll here, we're going to find out the connection exactly. Uh, she is indeed uh, my sister, the one who is similar to my understanding, the daughter, that understanding of my father, the one that comes forth uh, from my father. But not the daughter, but not this understanding of my mother, this or this one who, uh, from where he would come forth from, and so she became my wife, and this is what made it possible, because uh, the mother, the difference, that's all it is, is the mother from the, that's from where, uh, where you came forth from, uh, that understanding that went in to her as she bore the one who would come forth. Uh, this is what where the relativity comes from. The father has nothing to do with it. 13, and it came to pass when God caused me to wander from my father's house that I said unto her, This is your kindness which you shall show unto me at every place whether we shall come. Say of me, he is my brother. And it came to pass when God caused me to wander from my father's house. And we remember um, when Terach died. Um, and Abraham left there, uh, left that land of Haran. That said, and, and he said to Sarah, and we have it written as well, that every place where we go, save me, uh, that I'm your brother. He is my brother. And that's one that has a, my, the same understanding. 14. And Abimelech took sheep and oxen, and men servants and women servants, and gave them unto Abraham, and restored him Sarah his wife. And Abimelech took sheep and oxen. Uh, that the sheep are those that can be led, and these oxen are those that pull, and these men servants are masculine ones, are the masculine, the women are that, that, that from men. They all serve and gave them unto Abraham. Abraham, the father uh, of many nations, and restored him Sarah, his wife, and he gives him back Sarah, his wife, for that reflection of his understanding, and the princess of princesses. 15. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before you. Dwell where it pleases you. And Abimelech says to, uh, now that he has restored Sarah, uh, Abraham's wife, Behold, my land is before you. Dwell where it pleases you. You can dwell anywhere you want. Uh, we'll find out there's going to be peace now. 16. And Sarah, he said, Behold, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, it is for you a covering of the eyes to all that are with you before all men that you are riding. And Sarah, he said, uh, Sarah, Abraham's wife, I have given your brother... That's that one who shares that understanding. A thousand pieces of silver. And a thousand's always um, the fulfill fulfillment in that portions of silver. Uh, it's a form of payment uh, because it's that which is gonna, it's going to pass through or uh, has to be purified. Behold, it is for you a covering of the eyes to all that are with you. And for this covering of the eyes, it's to... Uh, make it right 
uh, in your perceptions, or these, the way you see it, all that, and all that are with you, to restore you, so that you are righted before men. In other words, the uh, it, it was a form of of a portion of payment in some way, as we'll find out. She he had. Uh, acknowledged in the fact that he was wrong in the payment to Sarah and all that was with her, everybody that was before, everybody that's seen her, in order to show that he had it was it would had been righted or been corrected. Seventeen and Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maid servants, and they bore children. And Abraham prayed unto God, God healed Abimelech. These um, Abimelech and his wife that's the father of uh, or the father of the king the father's the father of the king and his wife or that understanding of his reflection his maid servants those famine and ones uh, and that's those that serve him in that ple uh, favorable uh, pleasant um, uh, feminine understanding they bore children they would bring forth children or to bring forth those ones that would continue. 18. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs, and that's those places that bring forth the children of the house of Abimelech. That's the father of the king. Uh, because of Sarah, Abraham's wife uh, tried to take another man's understanding to himself, uh, even the princess of the princesses herself, that great understanding Abraham uh, had for himself. He had took that for himself, and that's where you got to watch what you're doing. We're going to move forward to Genesis Chapter 21, Turn and Return.